Hello again everybody. Um, I've just put my head outside and I've noticed it's uh, clear. So I've currently got the scope out. She's cooling down. Um, I've just noticed Saturn and Jupiter are about to pop the red round the corner. So um, let's see if we can get some live shots. Okay, here's Jupiter. Um, as you can see, uh, the atmosphere is shocking. I really am struggling to get focus on it. Um, it's not so much the focus, it's the atmosphere. But if you keep looking, you can just about see the bands flashing in and out. Uh, unfortunately, um, a bit of cloud cover come over just as we're about to shoot, typical. And I've had to wait, and now Jupiter's. Ooh, quite low down actually, so we're looking through a lot of thick atmosphere. Um, I, uh, let's just move her up a bit. Uh, there she is. Running away from me. But yeah, you can see that's really bad. But anyway, onward to Saturn. Before we move on to Saturn, I couldn't help myself but just to uh, get a quick shot of Albario, um, the famous double star in Cygnus. Uh, if you're interested, it's if you don't know where it is, it's uh, Cygnus, it's the last uh, star, it looks like a big cross in the sky, and it's the bottom of the cross, if you like. Uh, yeah, just a beautiful uh, double star, looks fantastic through binoculars, or any small telescope. Anyway, onwards to Saturn. Okay, there she is. And as you can see, the atmosphere is um, pretty dismal tonight. Um, I'm really struggling with focus. And I don't know what that strange uh, red glow is at the top there. I've never seen that before. But anyway, it gives you an idea of um, what you can see, even on a bad night. Oops. And that's the problem, see, if you if you if you got a magnification like this, slightest little touch of the scope and uh, and that happens. <laughs> but yeah, the the rings are wide open at the minute. Uh, very photogenic. So, we'll let her just drift out of shot, and I hope to see you all very soon. Take care. See you later.